Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we are to receive any visitors of distinction. It certainly wouldn't do for the Inquisition to appear overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what Theras requires. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. Do you not feel safe here? I've had difficulty forgetting Corypheus's attack on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. I keep feeling that fire's heat on the back of my neck, too. Indeed. But you're the one who led us to safety. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lady. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh, well, a tour then? Let me fetch the steward. That isn't precisely what I was hoping for. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. The Anchor's nothing more special than a misfired spell. At least you had the good fortune to take it from Corypheus. Does it hurt? The Anchor, that is. It looks strange, but it hasn't done me harm. If it did come from Corypheus, that's a small mercy. <laughs>